How's it going, you guys? I talked with a couple of colleagues of mine today, uh, one who used to own a Surrey. Uh, he's a mechanical engineer, knows a lot about electrical engineering and stuff. And uh, he said that it's completely feasible to replace these wheels out with uh, a hub motor that has a drivetrain and either a, a drum brake or a disc brake. Uh, and then I talked to another colleague of mine. He's the auto shop teacher and the bike repair class teacher. I mean, what a class. That sounds so cool. Um, and he said, oh, it's much better to put the disc brake. He said the disc brakes are better. Um, it has a drum brake right now. And I'm thinking if I replace the drum brake with a disc brake, I'm going to have a whole new set of issues needing to mount it. And I'm sure I could, you know, weld that onto the side of the frame. Uh, and stuff like that, but um, if I can find one that has a drum brake, that would be ideal. Then it's all sort of ready to go like this. It's already set up for that. The part that I'm concerned about is I have yet to hear back from any of those suppliers on Alibaba. If the one that has a drum brake also has this drivetrain. This one is a 28 uh, tooth, 28T, and uh, I wanted to take this apart, this assembly, and just kind of take the wheel off, and I wanted to see how exactly this is mounted. I, I gave it a good spin just to see how, how things work. And when you're pedaling, so pedaling would go this way. Of course it works, but then when you stop pedaling, the wheel itself is still engaged, still rolling, but of course this part stops. And I am wondering uh, how, that, how that housing is held together and, and if that's a, a part that's, that would be easily replicatable or what I would need to do to get it so that I could still have basically the, the same mechanism, just a new, a new tire that has a hub motor on it. So uh, I'm gonna take this tire off and we'll see if we can look kind of closer in at both the drum brake housing and this, this set of teeth here. All right, so now I've got both sides unhooked. Now I will slide it forward to loosen the chain. Just roll the chain off. Remove the chain. Okay, so here's our wheel. It's funny because these are both inside track. I mean, this is the correct way where the bike chain is on the right-hand side. The the pedaler's right leg but then on the other wheel it's on the the passenger's left leg which is backwards from a typical bike so what they did is they took this uh, freewheel and reversed it <laughs> so the freewheel is actually uh, flopped the other way so that as it rolls it it wants to go think of it upside down it wants to go this way to drive so it's kind of funny I'm gonna take this uh, this wheel off off of the freewheel, and uh, let's see if we can kind of see what it is. As far as I can tell right now, it doesn't say much. Made in China. There's an arrow facing this way. This is the drive direction. Not a whole lot of indication on these. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the actual uh, drive wheel off, and we'll look at this freewheel on the inside. So I managed to remove the at least the front cogs of the freewheel. Uh, usually the freewheel will have uh, little little splines that you stick a removing tool in and it just, you know, you turn it based on that. But there are no splines. It's completely flush everywhere. And I am just scratching my head wondering how this comes off. I wonder if maybe from these two little pins, but that doesn't seem like a very solid, solid place to remove it so I'm not sure uh, if I do need any of these pieces for the hub motor hopefully the freewheel has all of this assembly I would assume it does but if I need it to be 28t maybe I'll just steal this one I'll just take this one and then uh, leave this freewheel on the original wheel because I don't know how on earth I'm gonna get this off well in taking this bolt off 
I managed to release the drum brake. Check this out. So here's the whole axle. The drum brake, probably shouldn't touch it. So as this arm turns, it applies pressure outwards, which then pushes these pads outwards. That's pretty rad. The code in here says CG125. Uh, I'd actually like to measure this. This brake pad is four and a quarter and it's measuring just about with including the pad four and a quarter so then when it comes out it goes even further than that and on the inside of this drum hence the name drum brake right the inside of this drum measures right about four and a quarter i mean they rest really snugly with each other goes post through the brake drum these go in slip on just like that and then the whole thing gets mounted back in all right let's put the whole thing back together again got my brake drum in place it applies I mean that that's really solid that's great and that because we've got this side held in, it should be right the same distance as it was before. And let's stick this thing back on. So to do that, we'll get our chain back around the axle, up on top. Once you have the chain looped over, you need to pay attention to where this notch is. And this notch fits into this red post right here. So let's fit that in as we fit the actual hub in. And that's gonna slide in as we slide in, and just like that. Ha! Rethread the chain. There it goes. I'm just gonna hand tighten this until we get other pieces in. Nut. Okay, nice good pressure. Oh, that feels so much tighter now, that's good. Let's align the wheel. I feel like a chiropractor. Wheel alignment looks good. If you don't have the wheel aligned, it will wear your tires faster. Okay, looks good. So then let's tighten it on left side. Okay, to put the brake cable back in, we're going to feed it. It's gonna go on the outside here. Let's put the bolts, let's put the spring in. Put this bolt right in through here. And then in through the loop, hand tighten this. I'm gonna give it a couple more turns, but we'll have to see exactly, see if I apply too much, it starts wanting to push the brake. So we don't wanna move the brake by tightening this. All right, now I'm gonna pull the lever. And that should move that arm action, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Fantastic. This is a good way uh, to take off your wheel if you need to replace the brake drum, if you need to uh, realign these. If it's giving you too much uh, brake or if it's not giving you enough brake, if they don't brake at the same time, um, this is the way to fix that. So thanks for watching.